Welcome to another edition of the Comox Valley Horticultural Society Garden Chores. Today we're going to be pruning some, some blueberry bushes which are over by the pond and we're also going to be pruning some gooseberry bushes which are right here in front of us. And today helping us out is, is Karen Cummins who's uh, spent her whole life pruning bushes I understand and uh, is an expert so welcome Karen. <laughs> Thanks, Gordon. Uh, so this this uh, gooseberry that we're going to start with is one of actually Gordon and Linda's older gooseberries, and Gordon and Linda have been doing the right thing with um, the last few years, at least, taking out some of the older stems. And we can just look at what an older stem looks like, and um, maybe just to preface why we would be taking out older stems is because uh, gooseberries, currants, um, even the blueberries we're going to see later, uh, but particularly the, the gooseberries and the currants, bloom and produce the most luscious berries on one-year-old growth, which um, one and two-year-old growth. Um, this is um, probably two-year-old stem, whereas these smaller stems are one-year-old stems. So the berries on those are um, uh, particularly bigger and produce more luscious berries. And also after about three years, the, the canes, three years and, and older, start to have um, a lot more branches. These are, these are second um, year branches, so you can see they start to fill in the shrub. And what happens then is that you have less light penetration into the middle of the shrub as well as older wood that doesn't produce uh, flowers and berries quite as well. So that's why we have the strategy of taking out um, three-year-old wood in particular and making uh, more room for one-year-old wood. So again, the way to recognize older wood is to look at um, the size of the canes are an indicator um, the, because the one-year-old wood is smaller and um, we'll look at another brand, uh, bush in a minute and we can show you some very vigorous one-year-old canes over there but the three-year-old canes are much bigger they're very much darker woodier and you can start to see there's actually on this one that might be even four years old, um, quite a, some, a bit of dead wood happening, so not as vigorous. Uh, so um, I would like to take out um, this one, this, this older cane, leaving these younger canes to have more room. And um, I'd also like to take out this, this one, which is also an older cane, crossing over this one. And I would like to take out um, this one. Um, and that will t be about 25% of this bush. Um, and that's a good amount to take out in one season. And we also, this is a good time of year to be doing it, right at this, the end of the dormant season, just before the first um, flush of spring. So we do want to take these particular ones out right at, at the base. Um, doing it about as low as we can go. But not hurting any of the um, young ones. New growth coming up. There's some opportunity here instead of taking this whole branch out right now I'm just gonna hedge my bets a little bit and prune it to here uh, leaving this actually nice quite quite nice vigorous one-year-old branch again um, it's nicely going out to the outside um, so I think 
what this does is it again it lets a lot of light to penetrate and because we've taken out some wood the shrub will really be that the shrub response will be to push new wood which is what we want so Karen by only taking say 25 percent or a third of the older wood out and leaving some in is that to protect the vitality of the bush or yeah. Why would you do that? Right. Um, if this was a really old bush that was even older than this one and very not vigorous, you might actually cut it right back, um, the whole thing really low, in order to get that really strong, vigorous response. But I, you don't need to do that with this one, I think. By doing it this much, taking that oldest wood, you will get good response. And, and by doing it this way, you still get fruit. If you yeah. cut everything uh, next year, you you won't have any fruit. Okay. And so next year we take out the ones you've left, presumably. Right, right. And by that time, uh, you really do have a whole new shrub, almost. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. It certainly looks much better, <laughs> even with those gone. <laughs> well, the thing is, is to watch it this year and do see what what happens. What happens. Yeah. Now, what about Well, if you pruned off anything off of here, you'd be taking off flowers and fruit. Okay. So, um, I would say no. And you can see how quick that was in five, less than five minutes. Um, this bush is done. So, it, it sort of gives you the best bang okay. um, for um, long-term good health care. And are we worried about branches that are kind of crossing over? Uh, at this stage? Um, so something like there's a little dead one here that could come off, that kind of thing. Um, uh, but actually it's really not too bad. Yeah, it looks good. It looks, it looks yeah. good to me. And about the only other thing that I do in the summer, probably a wrong time to prune, but if one of these grows out over here because I'm cutting the oh. lawn here, I'll usually cut it back. Yeah. Just, just so it's easier to get by and not get hooked up on the spines because this does have horrible spines on it. Yeah, so. yeah. yeah. Well, You're allowed. Why don't we move on to the next bush? Now we're back at the blueberries. Uh, we've been, we just finished the currants and the, or the gooseberries and we've talked about currants and gooseberries, how um, we want to prune them so that we maximize the amount of sun penetration into the middle of the bush to maximize good fruiting and flowering and growth. And um, so to choose which wood to keep, we want to keep the younger wood, um, just like we were talking about with the gooseberries and the currants. Um, and on the currants, we talked about the one and two year old wood has the best um, blossom and fruiting possibilities and in blueberries is very similar but blueberries can be a little older um, by about by but about year four they also start to get older and aren't as productive um, for flowering and fruiting so that's the kind of wood we want to remove in order to keep renewing the shrub and keep sunlight in so if we look at this particular branch right here in the middle if we compare it to um, this branch here, this particular one, this particular uh, part of this branch is only a year old. That's very young, but it already has some, some nice buds on it. And you can see the bark is quite green or red, quite shiny, quite new. Um, compared to um, the previous year or two. So this is probably a, a three-year-old branch. Whereas this branch is probably a four-year-old branch. Much older wood. You can see a bit of it is dying back now, here and here. Um, you can see, in fact, where there are still um, flowers to come. They're very small. Um, this one, in fact, is barely there. And so you're going to have much less fruit on, on this branch. And it's probably smaller fruit. And also, this one is crowding in the middle so that that's one we would like to take out to encourage more new renewal growth and also um, to more sun 
This is also a very old branch. You can see it, it also has quite a bit of dead wood, small, small flowers. Um, another, so just a small one. Um, one like that, small, old, going into the middle. Now when I took off, there, there still is this nice little one going up. Here's an old one. Old one. There's another old one in here, small. And over on this side, see this one here is also um, quite old. Small, not very vigorous. And then the same over here, this one. And there's another small old one here. There's a little dead branch right there. Some of this just kind of fingertip prunes it so and really that's probably about all I would do with this particular shrub this year um, they'll probably Linda and Gordon will probably see a quite a bit of renewal growth right in this center area for next year well, Karen thank you that's very informative um, and we're hoping to get bigger and more fruit off this than the others once we get them pruned um, now I've been told that the blueberries like acid soil so I've been putting the uh, the pine needles on them every year and compared to the rest of the soil around here isn't you know isn't getting any acid but would this be enough to keep it acid enough for them or would I need to add some more amendments that would take it down? Um, that's a really good point on a couple of aspects because um, it's really good to talk about something other than pruning because <laughs> even though our focus is pruning it's not just about pruning in order to get good fruit and so the fact that you're really considering the soil is really um, holistic and a, and a really good thing. So the main thing about blueberries is yes they like acid soil but we generally with all our rainfall our, our unless you're continually putting lime on here our soil is naturally pretty acidic you're you're certainly helping with the pine needles you're not hurting but generally uh, blueberries are a, a forest edge plant like a lot of the bear, other berries and they all like a woodsy kind of mulch, which means um, some leaves, some bark, uh, or some, not bark, but wood, bits of wood. Anything that you would see on the edge of a forest floor is how they've evolved and what they seem to do best in. And they also, it's really good to remember, they have a very, um, it, because they're in the vaccinium species, they have very shallow roots and are very drought prone so whenever you give a really good mulch like this you're really helping to keep to keep the water in and shelter those shallow roots so okay. really good thinking okay and yeah. then what about fertilizing is this the right time of year to be fertilizing once you prune them um so i think if you have mulch like this you're fertilizing because okay. as this decays this this organic matter is feeding the biology, which feeds the plant. So I think what you've done here is perfect. Is enough for is it. Is enough. Perfect. Yeah. Wonderful. Yeah. Well, thanks. Looks the good. needles do keep the weeds down too. Yeah. So that, that is another bonus for yeah. So, uh, yeah. Well, thank you very much, Karen, on helping us prune our berry bushes, our gooseberries and our blueberries. More fun. next year. More next year. Thank you.